गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आई यू बेटे आई होप एवरी वन इज फिट एंड फाइन आई एम नवजोत को योर साइंस टीचर वी आर रीडिंग चैप्टर नंबर सेवन हाउ प्लांट्स सर्वाइव वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ द चैप्टर एंड रेड अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स दैट इज टेरेस्ट्रियल इक्वाटिक अंडर वाटर प्लांट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ प्लांट्स दैट इज इंसेक्टिवोरस प्लांट्स This topic is on page number eighty, बेटे insectivorous plants. Insectivorous. Now, what are these plants? Let's read page number eighty. Some plants are carnivorous in nature. Their leaves are modified to trap insects. and hence they are known as insectivorous plants venus flytrap and pitcher plant are examples of such plants insectivorous as the name itself telling us what do you mean by insects insects are the animals that fly so there are some plants that eat insects that are called insectivorous plants their leaves they are modified in such a way that whenever any insect come and sit on that plant the leaves that trap the insect jaise koi insect uske leaves ke upar trees plants ke trees ke upar baithta hai to wo leaves hain jo unko trap kar lete hain catch kar lete hain insects ke insects ko and then they eat them and they are hence they are also called as carnivorous plants carnivorous wo hote hain jo animals ko khate hain same way plants they are eating animals so that is why they are called as carnivorous plants example is venus flytrap one example is venus flytrap this is a plant that traps insects and the next example is pitcher plant pitcher means a pot in which you store water that is called a pitcher jo matka hota hai usse bolte hain pitcher the same way there is a plant that is known as pitcher and uh, uh, that traps the insects the uh, picture is shown on the right hand side of the page that is of pitcher plant it is in the shape of a pot jaise pitcher hota hai pot hota hai uski shape mein hai when any insect comes and sit on it on its edge it traps or enters the picture aisa bana hua hai wo jab bhi koi insect uske upar baithta hai aakar to wo उसको ट्रैप कर लेता है ऐसे बीच में बंद कर लेता है दैट इज दिचर प्लांट वीनस फ्लाई ट्रैप हैज लीव दैट आर लाइक बॉक्सेस विद हिंजेस कैसे लीव्स हैं उसके जैसे बॉक्सेस होते हैं विद हिंजेस हिंजेस होते हैं जैसे डोर के हिंजेस लगे होते हैं कि जो हेल्प करते हैं डोर को आगे पीछे मूव करने में डेट ऑफ कॉल्ड हिंजेस द सेम वे इट हैज हिंजेस ऑन इट्स एजेस वीनस फ्लाइट रैप दे हैव स्टिफ हेयर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑन दिस इनसाइड ऑफ द लीव्स दीज आर द स्टिफ हेयर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑन द इनसाइड ऑफ द लीव्स ऐसे हैं स्टिफ हैं तिखे हैं When an insect touches the hair, the leaf snaps shut, trapping the creature inside. What happens when any insect comes and sits on this, these hairs? Then these leaves they shut. ये बंद हो जाते हैं and जो insect है वो अंदर trap हो जाता है. That is the function that Venus flytrap does. Again, I am telling you, Venus flytrap the it has leaves that has hinges or that has stiff thorn like structures when any insect and comes and sits on the this uh, structures that are these sharp structures then it shuts down and the insect it is trapped inside in the pitcher plant leaves are in the form of a container or pitcher with the lid to cover the mouth of the pitcher see bete जैसे एक पिक्चर पॉट होता है वैसे है ये पिक्चर प्लांट इसके ऊपर होता है एक लिड 
लिड बना हुआ है जैसे ही इंसेक्ट आएगा इसके ऊपर बैठेगा द लिड इट विल शट डाउन लिड ऊपर से बंद हो जाएगा एंड द इंसेक्ट इट विल फॉल्स डम फॉल डम कवर द माउथ ऑफ द पिक्चर वेन एन इंसेक्ट लैंड ऑन द एज ऑफ द पिक्चर इट स्लिप्स एंड फॉल्स इन टू इट द लिड क्लोज ट्रैपिंग द इंसेक्ट इन साइड सिक्रीशन फ्रॉम द पिक्चर हेल्प टू डाइजेस्ट द ट्रैप इन से नाउ वॉट विल हैपन द इंसेक्ट विल कम टेलिंग यू अगेन The insect will come and sit on the edge. Here, the insect is sitting. Now, what will happen? The lid of the picture will shut. Upper se band ho jayega wo, and the insect it will fall down. Here, some secretions will come. Some juices will be secreted from inside of this plant. Then, the insect will be digested inside. Wo juices ki help se wo insect jo hai andar digest kar lete hain wo plants. So this is how the picture plant eats the. insects so mainly we have read about the two examples of the insectivorous plants one is the picture plant that is in the shape of a picture and one is the venus flytrap venus flytrap it has hinges inside it when the insect comes and sit on these structures the stiff structures then it shuts down and the insect will fall inside wo andar hi band ho jayega aur usko wo digest kar lenge next are your non green plants insectivorous plants we have read next are the non green plants there are many kinds of non green plants plants such as indian pipe and coral root are non green plants because they do not have chlorophyll Plants that cannot make their own food and absorb nutrients from dead plants and animals are called saprophytic plants. Now, non-green plants means which are not green in color that are called non-green plants. So there are some plants that are non-green plants. They are green in color due to the presence of a green color substance that is called chlorophyll. The plants that do not have chlorophyll they are called as non-green plants. do not have chlorophyll they are called as non green plants plants such as indian pipe and coral root are non green plants two examples they have given one is indian pipe and the second one is coral roots that are usually exist in water because they do not have chlorophyll why are they called non green plants because they do not have chlorophyll plants that cannot make their own food and absorb nutrients non green plants that do not have chlorophyll so they cannot make their own food so they need to take food from other sources so from where will they take food they absorb nutrients from the dead plants and animals are called saprophytic plants non green plants they are also called as saprophytic plants why they are called saprophytic because they do not have chlorophyll and cannot make their own food so they take their food from the dead plants and animals that is why they are called as saprophytic plants saprophytic plants so this is the second name of non green plants saprophytic plants again i am telling you what are non green plants the plants that do not have chlorophyll they are called non green plants they cannot make their own food because they do not have chlorophyll as chlorophyll it is very necessary for the making of food in the plants so these plants they will take their food they will absorb the nutrients from dead plants and animals and they hence they are called as saprophytic plants so but it, this is all about the insectivorous plants and non green plants the two main examples of non green plants are coral roots and indian pipe 